it's nice to have the group back together again. Just kidding. All right, so we are going to get into it. Our third session. Um, the second one, just to catch you up, we um, worked on our collages um, to talk about kind of taking pictures to describe this yourself. Is no. Um, no, this, this was Keelan. This is James. We didn't get a chance to finish, um, but we will. Oh, Not today. So, our theme for the sessions have been. Oh, self-esteem. Oh, self-esteem, thank you. I'm going to find new students. <laughs> um, <laughs> so let, let's do some discussions for a second before we um, get down to it. So I want to talk around a couple of questions, um, and we'll kind of go in order, and then we'll do some share out. So around self-esteem, um, do you think that there is a difference between self-esteem and being conceited or like stuck up? Do you think that's yeah. the what, what do you think the difference is? Conceited is like, they don't, like, like they know they're like, I'm not. Conceited is just, you're all about yourself. Yeah, it's not really you're even, good. It's just not even confidence. I think it's like overconfidence and taking it yeah. to an extreme. And everything. And everything. Yeah. Like you and just it's like, just um, all about you, like. All the time. 100%. All the time. Self-esteem is like, you have confidence yes. in yourself. But you also, like, it's not extreme. So would you say that the biggest difference between self-esteem and conceit is maybe like awareness, like folks that are have yeah. self-esteem are still aware of other people yeah. and their abilities, but confident. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that fair enough? Yeah. You agree, Jane? Mm-hmm. Are you are you nervous? No, I'm trying to do that. Okay. Um, and then when you talk about self-esteem, do you feel like self-esteem is something you have to prove? Like, um, for example, do you have to be like great at something, like a great athlete or something? Do you have to be popular? Do you have to be like like amazing, like look look amazing to have self esteem, or do you feel like that's unnecessary? No, no. you can have self esteem no matter what you or no matter what you don't do. It's just based off of your that's your feelings. Feelings. So you feel like the person doesn't have to have any status or be great mm -hmm. and be big or be popular or have self esteem? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No. Self esteem is just how you feel about yourself. You guys are all. Because basically, all that stuff is like what, that's kind of what people think about you too. Because if you're a superstar. At the sport of basketball, so everybody's like, "Oh, you think you're good?" So you, people tell you that, so you kind of get that type of shadow over yourself. Um, what do you think causes low self-esteem? Put down. Oh, Put down. Say that. Put down. Yeah. That's and the, I think just the ability that you don't know, or the um, the ability to think you don't have it in yourself. Mm -hmm. So like kind of uncertainty, lack of confidence, mm -hmm. low self-esteem. That's good. So. Have you ever experienced um, pretty much having low self-esteem by comparing yourself to others? Like, have you ever had a situation where you compare yourself to someone else and it causes you to be uncertain or have low self-esteem temporarily? I wouldn't say low, but... Um, or made yourself feel bad. So let's just say you feel bad by comparing yourself to others. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, so what what else can happen when you compare yourself to others? Like how can what kind of effect can it have on you? Um, it can be both good and bad or negative and positive, um, depending off of what you're comparing yourself to and how you take it. Yeah. It's just has a whole bunch of things on it, like how you look on it. Um so why we have this bucket is um like some folks compare self esteem to like a bucket of water. I know it has cookies on it. Sorry, that's false advertisement. <laughs> People compare it to a bucket of water, and like you can either add water to it and fill that bucket up with things that boost self esteem, or you can kind of poke holes in it, and like the water leaks out, which is kind of self esteem if you do things that take away from self esteem. So, I want to just spend a couple of minutes and have you guys write down some small things um, in like pieces of paper. So, like um, compliments or you know, you talking to you said things that boost it, and when you when you um, write it down, fold it up however you want to, and toss it in the bucket, and we'll do it for a couple minutes, and then read it, and then um, we'll talk about some other things. So, just so we just, just a couple, just a couple, whatever comes to mind. Yeah, some yeah, small pieces of paper it doesn't have to be. Thank you. 
Yeah. 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 No, he goes here. He goes here now. Like he transfers that guy to play basketball here. Yeah. Yeah. No, he doesn't want to kill him. He was that guy first. Oh, that kid, the kid that has, is that the green shoes on the background? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's cool. I wouldn't want to sell. Wow. I'm going to share this video. She's lying. Did you go? Yeah. 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 I'm going to share this video with the appropriate people. All right. Go ahead. I got that appropriate person six period. I got that appropriate person in six period. Six period. I'm gonna start sending with you. Yeah, just write it and then rip it. You don't have to do all of those. Just like write it and then. Small. I don't know why I did that. I don't think my pen. Oh, that's nice. Things that yeah, things that do something. Okay. A marker? Yeah, do you have a sharpie? Yeah. Or do you want a different one? Yeah, give me purple. Give me black. Give me black. Oh crap. I'm just gonna switch on these lines. Doesn't matter. Just do a couple without having to fill it on. I don't think I'm going to be able to spell this stuff right. Just go ahead and check out some of this. Wait, that boost, boost R? Mm -hmm. Wait, boost R self confidence? Yeah, give it an add to the, the bucket of self esteem, self confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Oh, yeah, I knew that. They love it. You did not That's not over. I have a fourth period. Um, Jada, what is it? Not really. Wait. Say it again. What about you, Right, right. Or anything that you feel like, um, boost up with you. Mm -hmm. 
Four hearts. That's yours. Experiences. Experiences. So who brought that horse talk about? Just positive experiences or experiences? Yeah, experiences positive and negative. Um, some certain experiences that you go through. Uh, it could be honestly it could be anything, school, outside the school, family, whatever it is. Okay. I didn't want to, but yeah, I did. Self-trust. Self-trust. Just self-trust. like trusting in yourself and being able to know that you can do it. That's good. That's good. Also with like decisions, right? Trusting yourself to make smart decisions. And stay away from poor, poor choices. Yeah. Giving someone um, compliment. Giving someone a compliment. That's good. Do you think giving someone else a compliment helps you out as well? Yeah, yes. Like, how so? Because, wait. Like, if I were to give you a compliment, how does that affect me? Because you're being a good person, you're saying, like, because we're having a good, like, a bad day, and you're like, oh, hey. You're outspoken, you know, pretty good. There's also value in um, right. in understanding that you have the power to boost someone else's self esteem. So think about that. Like, if you tell someone they look nice or um, that that they're smart and that really boosts their self esteem and that gives you kind of the confidence that you have the power to positively impact someone else, right? Mm-hmm. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, how's it going today? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's good. All right, so now we're going to spend a couple minutes, not as long, on the reverse. We talk about things that hold a whole take away from that. So you don't have to, we're going to use the paper, but don't read it. So I want you to think about it. And when you have an idea of something that takes away or pokes a hole in something, don't write it. Don't write it. Oh, don't write it. Don't write it. I want you to just pull a paper and then say it. So you don't have to read it. Oh, so say it against that? Yeah, so something that. Oh, okay. Family, um, family, or so, if, so if family can boost self esteem, uh, having n- not such a positive family environment can also take away from it, right? Yeah. So that's one good. Um, I pulled compliments, so put down was put downs were a big one, right? So a lot of folks may act like um, put downs don't affect them, but you know, in some way, you know, sometimes it, it can still say it stay in your subconscious. So people say stuff about you, and it may not even affect you that day. You may be telling the truth, but. If you think about it a little later on, or if you look in the mirror like, man, I wonder if I really do, you know, or if they, what they're saying is true, they still have some sort of impact. Yeah, you still have second thoughts about it. Oh, so we just pick, pick it. Just pick, just pick. They may not even need to tell me what That's true. Okay. Um, death of loved ones. Okay. Um, death of loved ones. Um, Something that they did. Oh, instead of making you do better things, it can make you do bad things. Like, you can start doing drugs. Oh, they can burst Yeah, that's true. Let's pull one more. Oh, others telling you, like, um, so if somebody says you have good self esteem, like, you're like, you have a good self esteem with yourself, and then the other way can go, they can say you don't. Like you're just too conceited. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to pass a little piece of paper. We can put all the extras in the back of the bucket. Hopefully, I have three here. You know. And this is a mini to do list. You can keep this um, when we're done with it until my next time we meet. So I'm gonna list. A, I'm gonna name some things and I'll go through them twice. So if you want to write a couple down, I want you to choose three um, from this list of things that you can do that will enhance your self esteem or things that you can work on. Like okay, I think I can do that or I think that'd be good for me. Exactly. Yes. So I'm gonna go down this about twelve things here. Um, so I'll read them. So um, one way to help boost self-esteem is to spend time with people who you like, <clears throat> who like you and care about you. So that's one way. Um, ignore and stay away from people who put you down and treat you badly. Do things that you enjoy or that make or that make you feel good. Do things you are good at. Reward yourself for your success. Develop your talents. Be your own best friend, like treat yourself well and do things that are good for you. Make good choices for yourself. 
and don't let others make choices for you. Um, take responsibility for yourself, your choices, and your actions. Always do what you believe is right. Be true to yourself and your values. And set goals and work to achieve them. So I'll go through them again. So spend time with people who like you and care about you. Um, ignore and stay away from people who put you down or treat you badly. Do things that you enjoy or that make you feel good. Do things you're good at. Reward yourself for your successes. Develop your talents. Be your own best friend and treat yourself well and do things that are good for you. Take responsibility for yourself, your choices, and your actions. Always do what you believe in right. Be true to yourself and your values. Respect other people and treat them right. And set goals and work to achieve them. Spend time with people who care about you because you don't want to spend time with people who don't care about you and you're just really wasting your own time. How are you going to actually do that? Like, what did that look like for you? Hanging around, um, like, my sister and my close friends. Like, yeah. people that I'm cool with. Not people, like, don't hang out with someone like, I really don't hang out with. Yeah. So, kind of staying true to your circle with your sisters and friends. Good. Um, you want to share nothing or you want to go around no. first? Um, don't let others make your choice. Okay. Don't let others make your choices for you. That's good. How does that look for you? Um, just do what I feel I need to do at the moment instead of letting other people's inputs make me do my choice or yeah, make my decisions. That's a hard one, right? Especially yeah. when you're growing up. Because everyone grows up, well not everyone, but most people grow up with like parents, elders, older brothers, sisters, people you look up to. Mm -hmm. And for so long you have to rely on them to tell you stuff, right? It's so like you have like teachers that teach you, parents tell you what to do. So it's natural when you're growing up, if someone sounds convincing or they're older than you, like, this is what you should be doing, then you usually listen to them. And at a certain age, you kind of have to start doing things for yourself and like, make the right choices differently. Good on that. What about you, Jimmy? Um, set goals in order to achieve them. Um, to me, that looks like, um, say if I want to do something like, say if I want to be top number, like top five ranked in basketball or whatever. Mm -hmm. you know, so to, to be able to set that goal, I have to work um, all the time, like play constantly, practice, do shots, stuff like that. Yeah. And, and that, that's good. See, that's what setting a goal does because he, he mentioned if he wants to be a good basketball player, then he has to practice. Well, naturally, if you practice at something, you're going to get better, which boosts your confidence, right? If you're shooting 500 shots a day, there's, you know, it, it should only boost your confidence as you continue to get better. So that's good. Um, is there any anything pressing that you guys really wanted to share or anything that was that's on the list? I don't even require them. So you can pocket those until next time we meet. And then I'll try to do a revision of those. And then maybe I'll let you guys finish up your collage and let me literally start them and finish one at the same time. Right now. Huh? Right now. No, next time. Um, before we go, our closing, I'd like us to go we'll go this way and then this way and just say a compliment to someone on your right and your left so this way and this way we'll go this way first i'll start okay go. Lily, you're awesome and you're awesome because um you bring great energy and you're very nice oh thank you <laughs> she's like thank you i'll just go home now <laughs> a compliment about mary jane um, um, thank you for always being there when I need you, sister. She's so soft. <laughs> She's so soft. Um, Keelan, um, what was I saying? Thank you or thank you for? No, just for compliments. Um, you're a great basketball player. Thank you. Um, Mr. Gray, you're a good coach and a good person. Thank you.
you when you're a, a great person and the more harder. I'll do this one. Right Mary Jane, you are MVP of every sport. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, you are a great little sister. Thank you. Coach Greg, you're um, a great mentor, and I'm thankful to have you and guide me in a better place. Thank you. We're going to start calling you Lily the tearjerker. She's trying to make her. <laughs> <laughs>